All right, guys, so I wanted to make a video, and now that I don't have anything in the nursery, I thought it would be a good time to do this video. So I'm going to show you Alexander and how he looks in each different type of furniture piece. So we have the stroller traveling set, we have a bouncer, we have a swing, we have a rock and play. So I just wanted to show how realistic the baby can look or might not look in these items but he should look realistic so let's get started okay so there he is with the car seat strapped into the traveling system looks pretty real um, if you're walking by at a glance you're gonna think it's a real baby because he's got a blanket most little babies will have a blanket unless it's really hot he's got head support and just looks really cute and then another way that that looks is like that so that's what the car seat there okay so in a forward-facing stroller it's kind of hard especially with the awake babies but I do have to say he looks pretty realistic there um, what helps is he's got his blanket and I pull his head forward so like I tilt his head down forward so he's not like this like looking all stiff I bring his head down his chin down to his chest and that helps with um, making him look a little more realistic and then obviously it's even more realistic with the canopy down because typically you are out walking and it's sunny so you're gonna have the canopy forward. So, I mean, I think if I was walking by, I wouldn't be like, oh, that's not a real baby. I just would walk by. So he looks pretty cute there. Now he is a big enough baby where you could have him sitting more so upright in the stroller. Um, he can pull that one off. Really with a newborn baby, you can't. Even then he's still a little short. So I would probably put like a support behind him but he does sit there very well I mean he's a pretty good sized kid so look at him he's just like what is going on so I think that is really sweet he's too cute oh my gosh way too cute okay and there he is in the bouncer looking gorgeous as ever so people will tell you that I am super anal about how my dolls sit in a bouncer um i like them to look as realistic as possible so a lot of the times people will hold them and put them in here and then they'll set them in here where their head is way up here and i'm like whoa okay that doesn't look right and then again i just have brought his chin down to his chest so he's got that natural sitting and observing look and he looks so cute. I like that. It's super cute. You're a cutie, aren't you? Okay, so there he is in the swing. And he's, you know, got that chin to his chest. And he's very relaxed looking. And one thing I forgot to mention. If there's ever buckles or seatbelts or whatever, you should always strap them in. Especially if you're going out in public. Like, that really adds to the realism of the baby. So... If I was just going to make a video and it was going to have music playing just to show him in his swing and no talking, you know, I would make sure he's buckled in because I want that, you know, realistic look. And it's just too cute looking at him. He's like, hey guys, I see you. So that's how the swing looks that way. And then that's how it looks facing this way. And see, another realistic pose for him is tilting his head up angling it at the toys um, I have this eye over here looking more up because that's his like arched eyebrow side and so it's you know it, it looks more realistic with him looking at the toys that way so that is another way to put this swing and to have their head looking and it just looks like he's looking at the toys while he's swinging and he's in the rock and play now. 
So it looks like he's chewing on his hand, but he's buckled in, adds to the realism, and he's positioned where he's looking up at mommy, which a lot of babies, you know, they're looking up at mommy if they're, you're right there or daddy or whatever. So he doesn't look stiff as a board in there. I definitely have given him a lot. You know, you can give a reborn so much life by how you position them because if you just toss them in there, let me show you. Okay, so say you just put them in there without a care in the world. I mean, look at how unrealistic that looks. It just doesn't look good. I mean, his butt is not even at the bottom of the seat. His head is arched back. I mean, maybe he looks like he's having a crying fit, but it doesn't help create the realism effect. So you want to bring their bum all the way to the bottom. Give a little push in their head so it's down, you know, gives a little bit of life there. He's looking at this way. And then you want to buckle them in for safety, you know. This is just all different little tips that add to making your baby look more realistic when they're just sitting around. If you guys ever came into my nursery, you'll know that I never have more than one baby in a rock and play, swing, bouncer, etc. Um, even in a crib, if I can just have one baby in there or maybe two because twins can go in there for a little bit. I only have one baby per item and that's how... I like my nursery to look like I have real babies sitting around, not dolls. I mean, they're dolls, but I like to capture the realistic look of them. So yeah, I hope this video kind of gave you insight as to how Alexander looks and how you can make your babies look more realistic while they're lying around the house. And thank you for watching.